don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hey everyone, here with another MK video. And today we're going to be making the workflow based on the Supier upscale method and the new one. So as you know, Supier was once Node and they had made it all a lot better by splitting up into several nodes. And there's a whole suite of nodes. Now, you can download it, and it gives us a lot better results closer to like they were showing us in the demos. So you would have to go to the link of a GitHub below. We will post a link in the description. You would just get clone that into your custom nodes folder, or you can also go to the manager and comfy UI and install it that way. So once you have it installed, you would go open up Comey UI. So, we're going to need a model loader. So we start with a right click, Supier, and model loader right there, and adjust the position here. Again, right click, Supier, and choose to noiser, and adjust the position here. So, we do the same for a Supier encoder for VAE. and also a Supier conditioner. All right, we just add a Supier sampler. No, it's a lot of nodes, but we, we will keep it simple. Okay, so we're going to start. It's not that hard. When going to take the VAE from the first stage, hook it up to the Super VAE in the encode. And then we will make the super sampler right here go latent to latents. And then from the first stage denoiser, we're going to hook up the denoised image to the image in the superior encode. We're going to hook up the denoise latents the lighten here. And we're going to go to positive from the conditioner to the sampler positive, and the negative with negative. And then hook up the model from this supermodel. So, it's okay. This is the first couple nodes that we'll need. So that we can start. Now. Or then we're going to do a load image by search. Then do a resize. I do it by search. Then we are going to go here and to go to image to the first stage right here. And then a right click to load in Supier decoder. Put it beside the sampler and connect them like me. And then we're going to do a color match. Okay, then we're going to do or connect image to image target here for the color match. And I'm also going to add another node to save image and connect it to image ref. We can also add an image comparer. It's be useful to compare the images before and after. So, we connect it to the load image output. Put it beside core match node and connect it. I have to redo. So it's good. I will connect the AE. 
and then it's all right. We can start doing supermodel. I use Super V0F. I will resize to 1024, extension 1024. And here in the color match node, I use HM method. And in Super Sampler, I make same changes on parameters. I put 1.5 on scale start, and the same on scale end. I put reservoir on 5, and choose a sampler. Let's put states on 50. And now drag in low resolution image for upscaling. You have your conditioner which will have the text fronts. So here I have high quality, detailed and I add photograph of female. And you have your negative. I forgot the model so I connect it. It's alright. Now we can keep prompt. Let's go. And so it will give you the final image. So here's the final image. And this will be the comparison node. So what you have. So we're going to look at the comparison node here is the before and the after. As you can see they did a good job. We started with a photo that it's not the best quality and see what it does to clean up this image. It's a well prompt. He kept the same photo with very good confidence. And there you go. I hope you had a good time with this workflow and that this will be useful to you. So, before leaving you, I would like to share with you another test with another photo on another browser. That's it. You can clearly see the difference in the eyes, here in eyebrows, also on mouth. I put the workflow link in the description. So, keep in touch. And see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So keep in touch.